Well, welcome back to Great Day Washington. Today we're starting a brand new series called Medical Mondays. The experts from Arise and Fusion Therapy Services are joining us for this series. They treat a wide range of conditions with locations around the D.C. area. And here today is the medical director, Dr. Ashley Beal. Welcome, Dr. Beal. How are you? I'm great. Thank you for having me. Good. Thanks for coming in. So what is autoimmune disease? I've heard that for a long time. I never really asked anybody what it was. What is it? Well, the immune system has different components. So there's the part of the immune system that fights off viruses and bacteria, and most people are pretty familiar with that. And then there's another part of the immune system which controls and protects the body's own tissues and organs. So an autoimmune condition is when that part of the immune system becomes dysfunctional, and instead of protecting the organs, it starts attacking the organs. And that can lead to lots of different things. It can lead to pain, inflammation, sometimes even disability. And some people are familiar with some autoimmune conditions, things like lupus, yes, right, yeah. rheumatoid arthritis, multiple sclerosis. But there's actually a lot of different other less well-known autoimmune conditions that we treat. So how do you go about treating an autoimmune disease? So a healthy lifestyle is actually a really important component of treating an autoimmune disease. We work with patients to help them with that. But the centerpiece of treating autoimmune disease is finding either one medication or a combination of medications that helps to control that overactive dysfunctional part of the immune system. And we've had lots of medications for many years to do this, but in the last 10 years, there have been some significant advances with a specific type of medication called biologic therapies. And biologic therapies, what they do is they, they target a very specific part of the immune system. So the side effect profile tends to be a little bit better than some of our older medications. So it can be orally given. Um, sometimes they're given as an injection and even sometimes as an intravenous infusion, right? And so if you're getting an injection or an infusion, oftentimes you need a nurse to help you with that. So those medications can be given either in a hospital setting or in an outpatient infusion setting such as ours. Doctors are smart. I don't know if I can understand the, quite, the answer to this question, but <laughs> what is, does, it, does, it, does it reverse the idea? Like, hey, by the way, that liver's a good guy. Right. Don't, don't attack that. Does it kind of say, eh, over here? It's, the almost, it's, it's exactly like that. I mean, basically what you try to do is you try to control the part that's attacking the body without overdoing it. And so it's a very delicate balance for patients. I mean, you, you know, there are, sometimes there's a lot of trial and error, but if you can get the patient to the right balance, then they're in remission. So they feel like a normal person and they get out and they start doing the things that they've wanted to do for so long, but haven't felt like doing. I know that sounds encouraging for a lot of people who are watching today who may be dealing with an autoimmune disease. Yeah. Now you're the medical director at Arise Infusion Therapies. Tell us about your treatments and where you're located. Right, so Arise Infusion Therapy Services, we have five locations in the DC and Maryland metro area, and we've been doing this for over 10 years. So we have a very specialized group of people, compassionate nurses, people who really understand autoimmune diseases and are able to help with some of the questions that patients have. And I think the biggest thing is it's very intimidating to get, an, to get a, a medication like this and to have to go in and get these medications administered by somebody else. So that sort of warm, friendly atmosphere. And also, outside of the hospital setting, it often tends to be more cost-effective for patients than getting it in the hospital setting, which is an important thing these days. These medications are very expensive. And you people at Arise, you keep on going and going and going until you know you really t it's alleviated, right? Right, we absolutely do. And the nurses are there to make the patients feel comfortable and at every location we have doctors that supervise so that if any questions do come up the patients can can speak with the doctor as well. Dr. And you Beale. say the biologics are so important in mm -hmm. the treatment and that's what you guys do. There. Yes absolutely. Good. Okay thank you so much for that oh, good it was information. Great to be with you guys. Thank good. you. Thanks for coming on. Hey by the way for more information about the services offered at Arise Infusion Therapy Services uh, go to www.ariseinfusion.com slash WUSA9 or you can call them, 240-514-5001. All right, the summer heat wave is here.